By the end of this video, you will be able to copy and paste within the music notation software, MuseScore 4. Let's get started. So in order to copy and paste in MuseScore 4, you're going to want to select what you would like to copy and paste first. So in order to select something, you want to be in selector mode. So a reminder that on the top left hand side, you'll see this pencil. And when that's turned on or blue, that means you're in note input mode. So I actually want to toggle that off. So now that that is turned off, now I can select the first note. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the first note. It will turn blue. And once it turns blue, I can then hold the shift key on my keyboard and press the arrow key to the right. And now I can select multiple beats. So now I have multiple pulses selected. Let's do the first measure. And let's also do the uh, bass line as well. So I'm going to hold shift and then left click on that bottom staff. And now I have the entire selection for copying. Now I'm going to go ahead and press control C. And then I'm going to then click the measure that I would like to insert and press control V. So this is much like any other software where you're used to using control C or control V. If you would like to undo anything you've done, you can press control Z. Uh, another way to copy and paste is to go ahead and have your selection. Say you wanted to select the entire measure. I just clicked right in the middle of that measure. The entire measure will turn blue. And then I can go up to edit on the left hand side of your screen. And I'm going to look for copy. So similar to control C. And then I can select the measure that I would like to insert the selection. I'm going to go up to edit and then click on paste. So those are two ways that you can copy and paste within MuseScore 4. Some things that I wanted to point out is that you probably noticed whenever I copy and paste something, it copied all of the things attached to those notes. So you see I have some articulations attached. So I have a tenuto marking on the first beat, a staccato marking on the second. Let's say I would like to delete any of those things. You can then just click on them being in selector mode and it'll turn blue and then press delete on your keyboard. You could also click on the articulation marking or anything you would like to delete. And once it turns blue, go up to edit and then click on delete. Backspace will also work for deleting something. If I don't want this chord symbol here, I can go ahead and click on that. Same thing, click on delete. So I also wanted to point out that it will copy and paste lyrics as well. So if I select that measure, press control C, and then I go to this measure and press control V, it will copy and paste the lyrics as well. If you would like to change any of the lyrics, just double click on the lyrics. You'll see a cursor show up and then you can press delete and then press your new lyrics here. If you made it this far into the video, you most likely are also interested in how to add measures to your piece. I have another video that covers this in detail. I'll put a link to it here.